This is a demonstration of the dosimeter module, which is available as an in-app purchase in the Audio Tools iOS app from Studio 6 Digital. Dosimeter is compatible with all iOS devices, including iPad. For this demonstration, we will use iPhone. A dosimeter is a type of sound level meter that measures a person's cumulative noise exposure over time. It was designed to help prevent hearing loss by allowing a person to monitor the amount of noise that they've been exposed to during a workday, which over time can correlate to hearing damage. Typically, an 8-hour workday is considered, and the percent noise exposure is shown as a dose. The idea is to keep the dose below 100% for a day. There are several standards for the formula for computing dose percentage. All of them use an exchange rate, which may be 3 or 5 dB, and a criterion level. The way it works is, if the user is exposed to the criterion level, for example, perhaps 85 dB, for 8 hours, they would hit exactly 100% dose. If you increase the SPL level by the exchange rate dB, to get 88 dB in this example, then the 100% dose level will be reached in half the time, or 4 hours. Our dosimeter keeps track of the user's noise exposure and provides visual feedback both about the dose and about the current SPL level to alert the user when conditions indicate that they may be in a dangerous sound environment. Dose is shown as a numeric value and also by the level in the dose rectangle which is like a glass filling with water. We've sped up the process here to demonstrate this. We've designed dosimeter to meet both U.S. and international standards, some of which are shown here on the information screen. The internal iOS device microphone can be used and will provide good general purpose results. Or use it with our iTest mic for class 2 or iPrecision mic for class 1 results. Note that it is possible to certify the entire device as a class 1 instrument by sending iPrecision mic and your iOS device to an independent testing lab. Let's look at the settings available for dosimeter. Tap the wrench icon to bring up the setup page and select between ISO, OSHA HC, OSHA PEL, and NIOSH. Check your local legal requirements to see which standard you need to use. See the documentation in the app for full details on the parameters that these settings use. All tests default to an 8-hour test time, which can be overridden if desired. You can also choose to show the dose used, which is a typical setting, or the dose still remaining. Next, set up the SPL meter. This is not required as a part of the specification, and the SPL meter settings do not change the way that the dose is computed. Choose the filter option, flat, A or C, and the decay dynamics. You can also set two trigger points. If the SPL on the meter exceeds them, the meter will change color as a warning to the user. Although this SPL meter is not required by the regulations, we have included it to provide another useful metric for alerting the user to exposure to loud sounds. Think of it like running an SPL meter and a dosimeter at the same time. Now we're ready to run a test. Just tap the play pause button to start the dosimeter running. You will see the SPL meter operating and the dose and time remaining in the test will also be shown. As conditions occur that may cause a warning, Either the SPL meter or the dose will change color, depending on which has triggered the warning. Also, the border on the screen will change color. Here's an example of the SPL meter triggering warning conditions. The test can be paused at any time, for example, for a lunch break, and then restarted and the dose computation will continue. Dosimeter runs in the background, so the iOS device screen can be turned off, or the app can even be exited without losing data. Next, we will look at how the Save Recall system works with Dosimeter. To start, tap the folder icon on the center of the toolbar in the bottom of the screen. This will bring up the Save Recall page. Save the file by entering a file name and tapping Store File on the pop-up that appears. To recall a file, select it from the list to highlight it and then tap Recall to bring up the results. Note that recalling a stored file will replace the current test data. After recalling a test, you can continue the test by pressing the play pause button to start the test running from where you left off. To clear a recalled test, press the stop button. When you save the file, the app stores all of the current values and it also stores a list of minute by minute values that include the LEQ over each minute and the peak value reached in that minute. If you would like to store an image of the test, Tap the screenshot button on the upper right toolbar to save an image of the test in your photo roll. Let's see how the image looks when saved without the toolbars. This concludes our demonstration of Dosimeter by Studio 6 Digital, available in Audio Tools on the App Store.